I want to thank you for joining me once again out here in the shop. It is quite a chilly January morning, so I am going to heat up the shop by forging a couple of cool projects. I'm going to be forging a short sword and a uh, kind of a short spear. So I want to take you over here and show you what I got going. I have some large pieces of 5160 all marked out. I have a little drawing that I did last night of a, kind of what I'm doing. Just a basic premise drawing. I'm making these out of one piece of steel. It'll be a full tang short sword and a full tang short spear. So what I have to do is I have to cut out the quillions, use the angle grinder, cut these out, and then once I am into the forge, I will pull these out to where they should be, forge the spear, forge the haft down. I'm going to do a tapered tang, so hopefully I can get 30 inches on the handle for the short spear and about one foot on the head. And then for the short sword, I'm going to try something similar here. I will be cutting out the quilliams, pulling them out to where they should be. And this one I might have to hot cut just because the angles are a little different, so I'm going to try some hot cutting. Well, that is my warm up the shop project for this morning. I have the... So I have the piece of 5160 all viced up here. I'm going to take my angle grinder and cut out the quilliams for the spear. And then I'll cut this bar in half and we will uh, get forging.
pulled these out of the forge. They're still pretty hot, so I'm gonna let them cool on the anvil. And then once they are cool, I'm gonna do some adjustments to the guards on both. And I cut the tips off these, they're a little too long. And then that will let me be able to forge the handle down. And this one, I'm just gonna grind the handle in and kind of clean up the guard on the grinder. And then after that grinding is done, it's time to go back into the forge to finish our profiling. So after hot cutting this out, that worked really well, but I realized I did things a little backwards. I wanted a really smooth transition from the handle to the guard, and if I kept them this way, I'd have to do some be all weird and wiggly. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grind in the handle, which I was originally planning to do, and I'm actually I'm going to grind these off. These little quillion things that I pulled out. I'm going to grind these off. And I'm going to cut it up here and bend them down because this transition right here on this side is really nice. Like a little bit of cleanup a little, with some files and some sandpaper would be perfect. But this transition on the inside of the handle here will not be comfortable or very practical at all. So I essentially I, I did it backwards. I will remember that for future builds. Uh, but this is a pretty simple fix. I'll just grind this off make new cuts up here. That'll give me a little bit of a ricasso right here and that will move my uh, my plunge lines up a little bit uh, but I actually think that that might look really really pretty cool. I was planning to do some fairly deep choils right here in between the guard and the blade anyway so it should work out quite well. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the grinder get these ground off. I'm going to take the short spear over to the vise, vise it up and I'm just going to chop the ends off of the quillions on the uh, on the short spear. So it's time to make a little dust and jump back into the forge.
All right, guys, these have cooled off. It's been quite a while since I turned off the forge. I am quite satisfied with how this went. Kind of an experiment. A full tang short sword. I really like how it turned out. We will see how much I like this after I clean it up on the grinder. I do have some reservations, but as forged, it looks pretty good. I'm going to clean these areas up with a small wheel on the grinder. I'm also going to remove this little lip right here on the grinder as well. Now for the short spear, I did bend the quilliams up just for now while I clean up this part of the handle. They will get bent back down. So I didn't want to tear up the side of my forge, so I just kind of bent them up a little bit while I get the handle all worked out. And that handle turned out to be really nice. And you guys saw the piece of steel that I started with. And this is the result. Now over four feet long, and it is a really incredible short spear. So I am so excited to have forged these two awesome projects to work with the shop today. No better way to keep the shop warm than to forge something awesome. I'm really excited to be grinding on these tomorrow. So if you're having as much fun watching me as I am making these awesome things, then please like and subscribe. I will be forever grateful for your continued support of the channel. It is what lets me build awesome things like this. And if you want to keep up to date with all the projects that I'm working on, not just the ones that I'm doing for YouTube, you can follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook down below. You'll also find my Etsy and my website if you want to order a custom knife or if you want to order an available knife. Most of what I make here on the YouTube channel will be available for sale. Some of it already is. I'm really excited to take you all along on the journey of making some really incredible knives. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Make a Knife. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. So I'm very excited to be out here once again. It is time to take the full tang short sword and the full tang short spear and get some grinding done on these so that I can finish the forging on the short spear and really get that profile all tuned up. So I want to thank you for joining me once again out here in my cold dusty workshop. It's going to be an awesome episode. Lots of grinding, a little bit of forging, two beautiful pieces. We'll hopefully be ready to heat treat at the end of today. So, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe so you can continue watching all the crazy stuff I do out here in the shop. Thanks for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started.
It is now time to grind the blades. After those are ground, I will heat treat them. go we are rough ground so both of these are now ready for the heat treat now These are my quench tanks for swords, but they don't fit things that have giant quillions. I have this that will fit the head, and it'll harden up to about there, which is fine, because the rest of the handle is going to have a nice piece of wood on either side. So that'll be perfect. Quench that in this quench tank. but. For the short sword, it, it does not fit in these either, but this is way too short, so I made a new one. And look at that, perfect for some full tang short swords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quench the spear in this tank, and then I will pour the oil from this one into this one, add some more oil I have back there, and then I will quench the sword. So I'm going to light the forge. And then I will start painting the heat on these pieces. Very unfortunate, but I missed the quench. However, it went very, very well. Perfectly straight, all nice and hard. I really like this quench tank. So these have been quenched and tempered. I am very, very sad that I did not get the quench of the sword on video. It was so amazing but I am really happy 
with how straight the sword is. Just a little bit of grinding it is a very very straight sword. So the heat treat went beautifully. It is fully hard. It's been tempered. So now it is time to finish this amazing short sword. So that is where I'm going to call this episode. The next and final episode will be the finished grinding. The handles. The hand sanding. Getting a handle on this massive tang. So, I am very excited to continue working on these two pieces and getting them all finished up. The short spear is still available, so if anyone is interested, this guy will be for sale once it is completed. I'm really, really excited to see what this looks like when it is all finished. So I want to thank you guys for continuing to watch me do all the crazy blade projects out here in the shop. I am so excited to continue doing more of them. This sword is looking awesome. This sword has some really wonderful balance, so I'm really excited to get it all finished up. It just feels great in the hand. And I'm also very, very excited to get the short spear all finished up. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe so that I can continue making all of these crazy awesome projects out here in my dusty shop. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, feel free to uh, follow me on social media. Those links are down below, and you can see all of the projects that I make out here in the shop, not just the ones that I make for YouTube. So I want to thank you once again. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next episode of Let's Make a Knife. Take it easy. I want to thank you for joining me once again back in the old dusty shop. I'm very excited to get these projects finished up today. I have with me a heat-treated and tempered integral or full tang short sword in 5160. I am very excited about this. I'm going to get this finished in this episode and over here laying on the anvil we have short spear. I have it all laid out because I am going to trace the tang. So I cut out a nice big piece of wood to fit this amazing short spear. It has been quenched and tempered as well. I am going to cut out the handle scales, do the finish grinding, get the hand sanding done, and then I have to drill pinholes in the tang for our 5160 short sword. I have a very special piece of wood. I am very happy with how this looks. It is some black walnut burl. It's a very, very wavy. And it just it looks beautiful in person, so I cannot wait to get this all cleaned up, cut some scales out of it. And this is just going to be amazing on that handle. So I am going to get my respirator on, and we're going to start making even more dust. Some wood dust, some metal dust. We're going to get these guys all finished up. So I have the handle scales for the short spear and for the short sword cut out. I mean, just look at that walnut. That's some really beautiful stuff. It is not cleaned up or polished or anything, and it's already looking really amazing. So now what I have to do is I have to scribe a center line down the tang of the short spear so that I know where to drill all of the handle pins. I'm also going to scribe a center line down the short sword handle so that I know where to drill those handle pins as well.
pieces. I have drilled the holes in the tang to secure the handle scales. So now I'm going to do a little finish grinding on the blade. And then it will be time to uh, start hand sanding this piece and getting the handle scales fit on both. The short spear, I'm going to do a little rougher finish. I'm just going to do a, a high grip machine finish and then I am going to do a nice dark etch on it. So I'm going to throw my respirator on and I'm going to go ahead and hop on the grinder. We're going to make some sparks, get these thinned out to their final dimensions and get this guy ready for hand sanding. So I have the handle scales all fit up to the tang. Now I'm gonna do an etch on the blade. And then this handle will be ready for gluing and finishing. So I have ground the bevels up to 220 grit on both the short spear and the short sword. I am going to hand sand the short sword now and I'm going to darken the short spear a little bit. sending is completed. I think that that looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs>
code is now the next day. And the handles are cured and ready for finishing. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my lanyard holes to make sure they always look as nice as possible. I'm going to rough grind both of these handles. I'm going to start it at 36 grit to remove some serious thickness on these slabs of wood. And then I will work my way up the grits and then I will hand sand both handles. And uh, this one I'm going to do a little bit of an antique stain and then I think I'm going to wrap the upper part here in some, uh, in some fake sinew and kind of give it more of a neo-tribal kind of look. So really excited to do that. I'm going to jump on the grinder and get these all roughed out. After the handles on both pieces are roughed out, I will show you guys how I do my lanyard tubes. Before I completely finish these handles, I want to add the lanyard tubes. And I found the best way to do this and get perfect alignment is to pre-drill your holes, glue it up, re-drill the hole, and then cut your piece of brass tubing. Gently tap it into position so it's sticking out on both sides just a little bit and now I'm going to widen this out just a little bit And this rivets the lanyard tube in place. because I've flared this whole edge on both sides to the hole itself. So I'm going to finish it. If it's loose at all, I will just give it a couple more whacks with the hammer.
So now, I'm going to take some fake sinew, and it really is just nylon thread, but it looks like sinew. And I'm going to tie it here, I'm going to wrap it back, and then wrap it back this way. And I'm going to use super glue to help me make this stick for now. And then tonight, I will soak this in epoxy, and that makes it look like actual sinew. It looks quite cool if you do it right. Ooh, and there we go. And that is where I'm going to call this short spear and short sword series completed. Just look at that. I am so pleased with how this came out. Absolutely wonderful. I will soak the wrap in some G Flex epoxy tonight to make it permanent. The super glue just kind of holds it in place until I get that far. And I am just as thrilled with how the short sword turned out. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is fast, it is light. And it just feels great in the hand. I cannot wait to make more full tang short swords. So I wanna thank you for continuing to watch all the crazy things I do out here in the shop. I'm very pleased to call this series completed. Short sword and short spear, both done. I'm very, very happy with how they turned out. This one, it, it kind of reminds me of, uh, I think it's uh, an anthropomorphic sword. Kind of a Celtic thing, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, whatever kind of sword it is, I absolutely love it. It feels great in the hand. It is fast, it is agile, it is wonderfully springy 5160. Very, very pleased with how this turned out, and that walnut burl on the handle looks really, really wonderful. I want to thank you for continuing to watch all the crazy stuff I do out here in the shop. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel and continue making all of these crazy, awesome, giant projects. It helps me to be able to make things like this that I've always, you know, wanted to make but never really had the time, and now i got to set aside that time. And it's really amazing to just make some really, really cool stuff. So I'm super excited to make some more awesome stuff for you guys. If you want to take a look at every project that I make, go ahead and follow me on my social media, my Instagram and my Facebook. It's where all my projects are, not just the ones I do for YouTube. I'm very humbled to see all of the amazing support that you guys have given me. I cannot wait to continue. I thank you just one last time. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you on the next episode of Let's Make a Knife. Take it easy.